Well, good afternoon, and thank you for your interest. I'm Tom Chapman. I'm a board member with the National Transportation Safety Board. I'm joined by our investigator in charge, Steve Prouty, and by the chief of our Pipeline and Hazardous Materials Division, Sean Lynham. I want to begin by extending our most sincere condolences to the family and friends of those impacted by this tragedy, those who lost loved ones. We are truly, truly sorry for your loss. We are also grateful to, and we want to commend the law enforcement and first responders personnel who participated in the emergency response to this crash as well as the hospital staff responsible for treating the injured. Yesterday, NTSB launched a team to investigate the Friday evening crash involving a semi-truck trailer in combination with a cargo tank semi-trailer. The crash resulted in both fatalities and serious injuries. Our investigation is a safety investigation it is parallel to the law enforcement investigation which is being conducted by the Illinois State Police. And here's what we know. At about 8.40 p.m. Central Daylight Time on Friday, September 29th, 29th, a tanker truck operated by Prairie Land Transport Limited of Brownstown, Illinois, was traveling westbound on US Highway 40 near Totopolis, Illinois. Totopolis, as you know, is located in Effingham County. Preliminary information indicates that another vehicle may have been involved in a passing maneuver near the tanker truck. The driver of the truck appears to have reacted by pulling to the right. The tanker truck departed the roadway. After departing the roadway, the truck rolled over and the cargo tank was compromised. The tank was loaded with approximately 7,500 7, gallons of anhydrous ammonia. Damage to the cargo tank resulted from collision of the tank with a parked utility trailer. As it rolled over, the tanker, track, the tanker truck jackknifed and exposed the head end of the tank. As momentum carried the tank forward, it came into contact with the hitch on the utility trailer. The hitch punctured the, the cargo tank, leaving a hole approximately six inches in diameter. Damage to the tank led to the release of anhydrous ammonia. Anhydrous ammonia is commonly used for a variety of industrial and agricultural purposes. It is both caustic and hazardous in its concentrated form. Multidiscipline investigators from NTSB's highway, safe, highway safety and rail, pipeline, and hazardous materials teams arrived yesterday. This morning, I joined our team for a preliminary in inspection of the crash site and the truck and the tanker wreckage. The NTSB team is led by Steve Prouty, who is the investigator in charge. Steve is a 13-year veteran of the NTSB with a previous career in law enforcement. Steve and our team of investigators will examine the areas of human performance, survival factors, motor carrier factors, highway factors, vehicle factors, and technical reconstruction. With regard to this tragedy, we at NTSB are particularly interested in issues relating to cargo tank crashworthiness, hazardous materials routing, and operations of the motor carrier. In addition to our investigators, we have a specialist from our Office of Transportation Disaster Assistance on scene who will be working closely with the families and local agencies to provide support to those involved. Our investigative team will be on scene for four to six days, and a preliminary report is expected to be published in about 30 days. 
final reports take between 12 and 24 months to complete. I also want to offer additional information about the mission of the National Transportation Safety Board. NTSB is an independent federal agency and we are charged by Congress with investigating every civil aviation accident in the United States and significant accidents in railroad, highway, marine, and pipeline. We also issue safety recommendations aimed at preventing future accidents. Among those with whom we are working closely are the Federal Motor Carrier Safety Administration, the Pipeline and Hazardous Materials Administration, the Illinois State Police, and the Illinois Department of Transportation. We are grateful for the support of these and other cooperating agencies. We encourage witnesses or those with information relevant to the investigation, including any video footage, to contact the NTSB by email at witness at ntsb.gov. Let me repeat that email address. It's witness at ntsb.gov. Our investigators will work to thoroughly document relevant evidence and gather additional factual information. Our mission is to understand not just what happened, but why it happened, and to recommend changes to prevent it from happening again. We will not be determining the probable cause of the crash while we were on scene, nor will we speculate about the cause. These are the first steps in a lengthy investigative process. Once again, we extend our condolences to the families. We thank the first responders. And with that, I'm happy to take your questions. Will you guys be looking into identity at all in your investigation? Well, certainly we'll be looking at the factors that resulted in diversion of traffic off of I-70. Uh, we don't have much information on that at this early stage, but that's one of the things that certainly we'll be, we'll be considering. I know we talk about these things in lengthy terms. About how long did this crash take to happen? Um, I don't think we know enough yet to give you any kind of an accurate information, or a accurate assessment on that, but it, it happened in a relatively short period of time. This was a, 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 a rapid sequence of events. I don't know whether you're going to be giving us that information that you shared verbally, but can I double check on a couple of things? Sure. To make sure I sure. have it correct. Sure. Is it westbound or eastbound? Westbound. There was a smaller utility trailer parked uh, off off the side of the road, parked legally, by the way, parked off the side of the road. Um, and the circumstances were such that when the tractor trailer jackknifed, it exposed the head end of the tanker. The tanker came in direct contact with the hitch on the utility trailer. That punctured the tanker, and the tanker then released the ammonia. These are, at this point, approximations. We'll, we'll likely be able to determine with much more accuracy as part of the investigation. But um, at this point, what we know was that the tank was carrying approximately 7,500 gallons, and approximately half of that was released. Other questions? You mentioned the wrecks on I-70. There's been multiple of them kind of in the same area. Is that something that you guys will look into Our focus for this investigation is on this crash specifically. To the extent the events uh, on I-70 leading up to the crash 
had an impact, we will certainly examine that. We're not doing a broad investigation with respect to the uh, whatever, uh, uh, whatever other history there may be on I-70. You probably know, or you may know, we are also in the midst of an investigation of a, a very tragic bus crash that occurred at a rest area um, about 50 miles from here, uh, right off I-70. That was in July. One of the things that we are looking at in the, in the context of this investigation is hazmat routing. Um, I don't know the specifics of what the regulations might be, but we will be examining that and we'll be looking to see the extent to which that may have been a factor uh, in, in, in this crash. Again, too early for us to say one way or another. There have been accidents. Uh, often they are of a smaller scale. Um, I'm told by our hazardous materials folks that what typically happens is that these larger quantities are offloaded into smaller, what are called nurse tanks, used for agricultural purposes. The accidents typically involve nurse tanks, not these large, uh, large transport tankers. Do we know whether do you have enough information yet to know whether he would have been on 70 had he not been routed off on the 40? We don't have that information yet, no. no. We'll, certainly we'll be seeking to determine that, but it's too early for us to be able to say. Thank you all very much for your interest this afternoon. And by the way,